agenda for the regular meeting. I make the motion. Second. There's a motion by Mr. Ramsey, a second by Ms. Condor to approve the agenda. Is there any discussion? Do we have to vote on changing the time or anything like that since it's printed on the agenda? Do we have to vote on the I don't know if that was a sticky point or not. Yeah. Uh, probably should. Probably should. Um, so a motion, I would like to make a motion to amend the start time to 510. Second. There's a motion to amend the start time to 510 by Walford, a second by Ramsey. Is there any discussion? Uh, yes, Madam Chair. Considering folk who do not know that we are changing the time, I think that will be something to consider. People are looking to come at 530, I believe. The public or the regular board members? Public. Public. Mr. I don't, I don't see an issue with this because we're going directly into executive session. So we're going, not going to be at the dais regardless. So if we, if we change it to 510, we could still meet back at 630 at the scheduled time. time. That the public is expecting. So are you saying we're going to be able to come back on regular schedule? Yeah, we're going to come back to the meeting at 630 into regular session for the public. Okay. It just gives us a little extra time because I think we were late last That's time. That's Yeah, we were late session. coming from executive session last time. So okay. first we need to vote on the amendment to amend the start time to 510. Motion by Walford, second by Ramsey. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. So now will any additional discussion on the agenda? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The amended agenda is approved. We'll now entertain a motion to enter into executive session. Make the motion. Second. There's a motion by Mr. Ramsey, a second by Reverend Spann, to enter into the executive session for the stated reason of discussion of pending employment matters to include the appointment of administrators, seven student attendance appeals. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. We are in executive session. We'll now entertain a motion to return into regular session. So moved. Second. There's a motion by Mr. McQuillan, a second by Mr. Barrow to return to regular session. Is there any discussion? I'd like to state for the record that no action was taken in executive session. Hearing no discussion, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. We are in regular session. Please now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We'll now move on to agenda item 3B, the approval of the minutes for the regular board meeting on June 12th, 2018. Is there a motion? I so move, Madam Chair. Second. There's a motion by Reverend Spann, a second by Mr. Ramsey, to approve the minutes of the board regular board meeting on June 12th, 2018. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The minutes are approved. We'll now move on to agenda item four, legacy builders and special recognition, recognitions. Ms. Katie Orvin Tanner. Good evening, Chair Wofford, Superintendent Ingram, members of the board, and all of you who've joined us tonight. I have the wonderful opportunity to in introduce our legacy builders for this month. Um, our first legacy builder is Miss Riley and Voldson. 
She is from um, Whitesville Elementary School. This past spring, Riley ran a lemonade stand during a large community yard sale. Her original goal was to sell lemonade and collect as much money as she could for her family's upcoming Disney trip. However, when she learned that a fundraiser for the rural um, Pimlico, Pimlico Rural Volunteer Fire Department hadn't gone as planned, she immediately made the decision to donate half of her profits to their cause. On Wednesday, May 23rd, the, the fire department she supported gave her a ride in a fire truck to school mm -hmm. and presented Riley with a citizenship award in front of her cheering classmates. The department, chief's, the department chief, Kevin Carter, said it was one of the most selfless things he's ever seen a child do in a long time. We agree, and we're so excited to present Riley tonight with an award for outstanding citizenship and um, service to our community. Um, we are very proud of you, Riley, that you recognize the important role of the fire department, especially the rural fire departments, and that you understand just how important it is to ensure the safety of your community. So if Riley could come up, we're very happy to recognize her this evening. Well, this is my grandchild and she served as my campaign manager when I was running for um, school board representative and uh, I'm so very proud of her and I want you all to know that um, I'm proud of her parents because they're really the ones that have instilled this value in her to be civically responsible. Um, she has made me so proud. And that's my son sitting over there, her dad, Addison, and her mom, Crystal, and they're doing a wonderful job with her. Thank you all so much. I love all of you. Thank you, Miss Ann. And I do have to say that she never told us until afterwards that Riley was her granddaughter. So when we were talking about the media coverage and everything, we then learned that that was Miss Condor's granddaughter. So we were glad we had the opportunity to recognize her. And congratulations, Riley. That really shows a strong sense of character that you're committed to your community that way. So congratulations. All right, so for our final legacy builder this month, we are gonna recognize uh, Ms. Teresa Crumley. She was selected as the Virtual South Carolina Franchise Teacher of the Year, and she's with us tonight. And so is recently retired Mr. Bill Gaskins. He has returned tonight to talk to you a little bit about this award and the importance of our virtual program. I am so excited about Teresa. We started a journey three years ago in Berkeley County with partnering with Virtual South Carolina to create our own virtual program in Berkeley County School District. And from the very beginning, Teresa has worked with us, worked with this program, and it really has grown. And our motto that we've worked hard on, we're not just online facilitators, we're teachers, we're online teachers. We interact with kids, we work hard, and what our nominated her for this role. This is one of the things I said, she exemplifies the work of an online teacher with making those connections, building community with students. She has done a superb job and I am so proud of her. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> Thank you. 
Congratulations, Ms. Crumley, and thank you, Mr. Gaskins, for coming back to talk to us a little bit about that importance. That concludes our Legacy Builders portion for this month. Thank you. Thank you so much for attending. Um, it's always exciting to hear the good things that are going on um, with the members of the Berkeley County School District family. We have uh, agenda item 5A as citizen comments. There are no citizen comments tonight, so we'll move on to agenda item 6A, which is action as required from executive session. Um, the first motion is to accept the recommendation of administration to name Mr. Tom Gallus as the principal of Hanahan High School with a contract to take effect July 1st, 2018. Is there a second? Second. There is a motion by Walford, a second by Mr. Ramsey. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor of accepting the recommendation of the administration to name Mr. Tom Gallus as the principal of Hanahan High School with a contract to take effect on July 1st, 2018, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Congratulations, Mr. Gallus, welcome. Please stand up, Mr. Gallus. Now, how many children do you have, Mr. Gallus? I have four. <laughs> They're all beautiful. Thank you very much. They're too pretty not to have a picture, so. That's right. Bring your wife. That's right. And they're all color coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hand of hand for colors. So that's good. <laughs> Look at those pretty kids. All right, tell us who's with you. I always make you tell who's with you. So, who did you bring with you to celebrate? We are very excited. We are sad for you to leave Berkeley High School, but we are very excited for you to take the reins at Hanahan High School. Congratulations. Next up um, is the recommendation for Cross High School. Is there a motion? Uh, Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion to accept the recommendation of administration to name Ms. Alicia Presley as our new principal for Cross High School with the contract to take effect July 1, 2018. Second. Unfortunately, Ms. Presley cannot attend She's on the phone. Oh, Ms. Presley is on the phone. How wonderful. We cannot get a photo up, but she's going to have to stop by and come take a picture with us. Um, <laughs> so there is a motion to accept. <laughs> <laughs> there is a motion to accept the recommendation of the administration to name Miss Alicia Presley as the new principal for Cross High School with a contract to take effect July 1st, 2018. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Congratulations, Miss Presley. We're so excited for you to become the high school principal for Cross High School. And I got a great picture at graduation, so you'll have to use that picture as the photo op. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are excited for all the new ideas and excitement you're going to bring to Cross High School. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, we'll move on for the recommendation um, for retirees. Is there a motion? 
Madam Chairwoman, motion to accept the recommendation of the administration to approve the list of employment of retirees for the 2018-2019 school year. Second. There's a motion by Mr. Ramsey, a second by Mr. McQuillan. <clears throat> to accept the recommendation of administration to approve the list for employment of retirees for the 2018-2019 school year. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Next, we'll move on to the recommendation uh, for the stru pay structure for instructional technologists. I move that we accept the recommendation of the administration to approve the current pay structure for instructional technologists for the 18-19 school year. Second. There's a motion by Ms. Lee, a second by Reverend Spann, to accept the recommendation of the administration to approve the current pay structure for instructional technologists for the 2018-2019 school year. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The motion passes. Next, there'll be a motion for employee number one. I move to accept the rec resignation of employee number one as discussed in executive session. Second. There's a motion by Wofford, a second by Mr. Barrow to accept the resignation of employee number one as discussed in executive session. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Nay. 6-2. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to attendance appeals. I'll now entertain a motion for student number one. Madam Chair, I move that we approve the appeal for student number one. Second. There's a motion by Ms. Lee, a second by Mr. McQuillan to approve the appeal for student number one. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Nay. The ayes have it. Student number two. I move that we deny the appeal for student number two. Second. There's a motion by Ms. Lee, a second by Mr. Barrow to deny the appeal of student number two. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Nay. Motion passes. Students three and four will be heard together. I move that we deny the appeals for students three and four. Second. There's a motion by Ms. Lee, a second by Mr. Barrow to deny the appeals of students three and four. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Nay. Student number five. Madam Chair, I move that we deny the appeal for student number five. Second. Motion from Ms. Lee, a second from Mr. Barrow to deny the appeal of student number five. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. 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 Motion passes. Student number six. I move that we deny the appeal for student number six. Second. Motion by Ms. Lee, a second by Mr. Barrow to deny the appeal of student number six. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. 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 Motion passes. Student number seven. I move that we deny the appeal for student number seven. Second. Motion by Ms. Lee, a second by Mr. Barrow to deny the appeal of student number seven. All in favor, please respond. I'm sorry, any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay. Okay. Motion passes. Does anyone else have any other action as required from executive session? Hearing none, we'll move on to the committee reports. We'll start off with uh, Ms. Condor and the Academics and Innovations Committee report. Mm -hmm. 
Madam Chairman, the Committee on Academics and Innovation met on June 12, 2018. On recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the Head Start budget expenditures re reports for March and April 2018. Head Start credit card reports for March and April 2018, draft 2018-19 Head Start academic calendars, and the 2018-19 Head Start transportation waiver. We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion. Also on recommendation of the committee, <clears throat> I, I move to approve the committee recommended books selected by the teachers from each high school as presented for second reading. We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion passes. Also, Madam Chairman, on recommendation of the committee, <clears throat> I move to approve the committee recommended book as presented for first reading. We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Madam Chairman, that concludes my report. Next on the agenda is the Committee on Finance and Human Resources, Chairman Michael Ramsey. Madam Chairwoman, the Committee on Academics and Innovation met on June 12, 2018. On recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the Head Start Expenditures Report for March and April 2018. Head Start Credit Card Reports for Michael. March. Michael. Oh, yeah, you're on the, you're on the wrong one, though. So. Right. <laughs> I got it wrong. Yeah, yeah, go down a little got, bit. You got the nice, wrong list. Nice page, Mike. Trying to run my committee, Mike. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I got ahead of me. I got so excited about Mr. Gallus. Uh, <laughs> he lost I it. I got confused where I was at. Um, I'll tell you what. Should be June 19th. We okay. should be on June 19th. Madam Chairwoman, the Committee on Finance and Human Resources <clears throat> met on June the 19th, 2018. On recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the 2018-2019 salary book as presented by administration. We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? I'd like to make a, just a comment. I, th yes, I think what we discussed in the Finance Committee meeting last Tuesday was amended a little bit for the rural school mileage. I think $60 per um, employee for those um, miles was added. So that's, I think that's an adjustment. Just wanted to make that notation that uh, $60 well, was increased for each one of the categories. I'm not sure that you were aware of that, but I caught that with just by scanning through that. Thank you for adding that. Board approval and the state. Any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the issuance and sale of general obligation bonds of the school district in the principal amount of not exceeding 45 million, the proceeds of which will be used for the purposes of paying existing debt, funding capital projects, including but not limited to the undertaking of capital improvements to the school district's facilities and the acquisition of equipment and other infrastructure and technology improvements and paying the cost of issuance of the bonds and other lawful purposes as the board may determine. I would like to note that Mr. McQuillan has submitted in writing his recusal from any votes um, relating to bonds. Um, so I'd like to note that for the minutes. So we have a recommendation from the Finance Committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 <laughs> Opposed, nay. The vote is 7-0 and one abstention. The motion passes. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the reimbursement resolution to allow BCSD to reimburse itself for expenditures made with respect to projects prior to the issuance of tax-exempt bonds 
not to exceed approximately five million, and the issuance of tax exempt bonds in the expected principal amount of not exceeding approximately forty million. We have a recommendation from the committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Seven, zero, one, recusal. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the funding flexibility for the fiscal year 2017-2018. <coughs> We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to approve RFP 535-17-18 for insurance services naming author Jay Gallagher, the broker of record, for five one-year terms at an annual cost of 65000 for one year and an annual increase of 4% only when performance benchmarks are met for a projected five-year cost of $352,060.97. We have a recommendation from the committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? I'd like to ask a question of the uh, superintendent, perhaps. Um, at some point, I think we've talked about the need to have insurance services provided for and, and uh, negotiated by our, by our current district employees. Um, I have no, no uh, objection to this, particularly in light of the five one-year contracts. So at some point, and I think you will agree, that we need to... Uh, to reduce our budget costs by negotiating our own insurance services. So um, I just want to throw it out there, even though it's a five-year, $352,000 commitment, it's on a yearly basis. And as soon as we can financially and administratively handle the, handle the task of doing our own insurance services, I think we'll be better off fiscally. Yes, sir. I don't. I don't disagree at all, Mr. Barrow. Um, but your point's well taken. We're really not in a position to do that right this second. Uh, this firm is uh, far-reaching, and uh, we should be able to get much better prices uh, with their expertise. But as our capacity improves, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to do this in-house. Thank you, sir. Any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion passes. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to approve 18 out-of-state travel requests as presented. We have a recommendation from a committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The motion passes. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to approve projected federal budgets as presented. We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The motion passes. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the 2018 2019 general fund budget for second and final reading as presented. We have a recommendation from the committee. No second is required. We also held a public budget workshop at five o'clock today where there were no questions. Um, so is there any discussion now? We, uh, on the 288, that money, uh, I think we need to uh, hold off on plan B that we discussed about in the finance committee meeting the other day. Uh, in light of the fact that the state budget has not been finalized and approved, so we don't know our obligation back to the state for any monies that may, we may owe the state in case there's a there's a 2% increase in salary. So um, I think at some point, whenever the state passes their budget, we can amend ours based upon the the uh, two, 288 we have in, in abeyance. Thank you. Any other discussion? I just think for the people that weren't here, we should probably state the total budget um, 
general budget um, projected expenditures. Is that 200 and I think I'm saying, I think I'm reading that right. Um, 292 million five hundred eighty-six thousand eight hundred fifty-six dollars. That's correct. With no millage increase. With no correct. millage. With no millage yeah. increase, the millage will be the same rate. Um, One sixty-three point eight will be the millage rate, which was the same millage rate as last year. Very proud of a lot of hard work. Ms. Smith is not feeling well, so she's not here. Ms. Ware did a wonderful job presenting. Um, very, very proud of this budget. I'm very proud of the work that's been done by this board and the staff um, to fund the things that are important to us, safety and classroom teachers, um, and also try to build back public trust um, as we get through um, the debacle that we have been through this last year and a half and rebuild public trust, um, allocating money wisely, uh, spending money wisely, and being very conservative um, with the taxpayer dollar while we're still caring for the kids in Berkeley County. So I'm proud of this budget. I'm thankful for all the hard work. Um, so hearing no other uh, discussion, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The budget passes. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the new supply, travel, and sports allocation formulas for second reading as presented. We have a recommendation from the committee. No second is required. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Madam Chairwoman, passes. that concludes my report. We'll now move on to agenda item 9A, the superintendent's report. Madam Chairwoman, um, board members, uh, staff members, and members of the audience, uh, I would, I'm uh, glad to report that Berkeley County Schools just received word that we have received three separate grants from the Tides Foundation. Um, in the amounts, in the following amounts, fifty-seven thousand six hundred four dollars for implement implementing the four C's: uh, critical thinking, uh, communication, creativity, and collaboration. Um, Twenty-one thousand four hundred fifty dollars for rolling study halls, and uh, Whitesville Elementary for Google activities: six thousand seven hundred and eighty-three dollars. So that's certainly good news. Tomorrow, I will be attending the groundbreaking ceremony at Monk's Corners Fire Station 2, adjacent to Fox Bank Elementary. That's at 10 a.m. If any of you would like to attend that as well, would welcome to see you there. Also, tomorrow, uh, I will be flying to Boston at my own expense uh, to visit some summer programs sponsored by Boston University. Uh, Sue's making me go to a Red Sox game on Thursday night. Uh, also at my own expense, but that's she's making me go. And I'll be flying back July 3rd, but I will be uh, working from uh, remotely um, by phone and by technology. So things don't stop just because I'm out of town. Uh, I've been by Fox Bank today. Uh, paving has started around the elementary school. Crews are working around the clock. We'll be ready to open in August. Uh, we've got the bus loop completed. They're regrading and packing uh, a parking lot adjacent. The front of the school still looks a mess in terms of the grounds, but it's been real wet. Um, but I saw people on the roofs today and lots of buzz and activity there. Um, for Bowen's Corner, we're going to be reapplying for a reduced speed limit zone on Foster Creek Road. Um, I've uh, attempted, I've reached out to South Carolina Department of Transportation. I've reviewed some documents and will be making visits out there soon. Um, but we believe that there will be a fairly significant number of students who could be walking and plus we want to make it safe for the citizens uh, whereas there's a walking trail uh, very close. So we'll be reapplying for that um, in the next day or two. Um, this week several of our school leaders are at the uh, ISTE conference in Chicago. That's where Alicia Presley is. So congratulations to Alicia. Uh, and to uh, Mr. Gallus. 
Last Thursday, the Berkeley County School District and Berkeley County government partnered for a hiring fair that was held. Um, that was held, mm -hmm. and several people were hired by local companies on the spot. We had over 16 employers represented and 160 participants, including many of our recent graduates who were put right to work. So that's good news. The office will be open July 2nd and 3rd, um, but many employees are taking vacation that week. As stated earlier, I'm flying back on the 3rd, and I'll be in the office and in the field the remainder of the week. Um, Good news from, we just got this today, uh, or at least I just got the email today, I think. Uh, we have several winners of the South Carolina Association for Career and Technical Education. Um, several winners from Berkeley County. Uh, Kurt Richter, um, Cane Bay High School ag teacher, is the South Carolina um, Association of Career and Technical Education Teacher of the Year. Uh, Jessica Galati, uh, is, she's in the uh, Hanahan Feeder Pattern, a career specialist. She's the career guidance person of the year. Gwen Ward, a Berkeley County Schools retiree, uh, earned the Lifetime Achievement Award. And our own Tana Lee uh, earned the Champion of the Year uh, for the South Carolina Association of Career and Technical Education. Certainly lots of uh, kudos uh, for our CTE folks in Berkeley County. Uh, Madam, oh, one last thing. I would like to pass out, it's about that time, um, copies of a recommended, this is what I recommend to the school board. School board can evaluate me pretty much any way you want to, <laughs> but I recommend a, an instrument from McCrell. Um, it's a nonprofit organization that does uh, uh, assessments uh, throughout the country. It's validated, it's reliable um, uh, statistically. And But before you fill it out, I would recommend that you read it over uh, and that we have a phone conversation or maybe a visit from an official at McCrell because um, it's really a growth instrument <coughs> where we work together in tandem as a team. So it's sort of, in a way, uh, I've been through this instrument many times uh, in the past. Its, it's ratings are developing, proficient, accomplished, and distinguished. And being my first year, it's really... People might call me crazy, but you really can't be distinguished in your first year because you're just getting here and you're just getting started. Uh, in North Carolina, I did reach that distinction, but I've been there 32 years. I'm new to the community. We're new to each other. So we have to work together uh, to articulate our mission, vision, uh, and agreed upon goals. While we've worked towards that, uh, one consultant was hampered by a heart attack, which delayed a little bit of that discussion. Uh, but uh, on our workshop on July 10th, I would invite us to have an open discussion uh, in public about this. And I'm trying to secure a representative from McCrell who, if he can't be here, at least on the phone, to kind of help uh, guide you through this. Um, it's based on um, goals and competencies, knowledge and dispositions that uh, superintendents should have on a, a national basis. Uh, and it's not some locally developed uh, checklist that may or may not be valid. And it's based on evidence. Uh, it's evidence-based. It's not uh, based on opinion. So that that's something that I think that we should all move towards uh, as we work towards becoming a world-class school district. Again, you don't have to use this instrument. It's up to you. Um, but that's just what I propose to, um, to you as a group. So, Madam Chairwoman, with that said, that concludes my report for the evening. Thank you, Dr. Ingram. Um, lastly is the board chair report, upcoming dates. July 10th, we will be doing a board workshop um, to consider exactly what uh, Dr. Ingram has given us. Um, it is time for evaluation. Um, also, we will be hopefully able to do some work on the mission and vision and goal setting and protocols. Um, we're trying to get in about three good hours uh, casual workshop one-on-one um, -on -one type team building. It will obviously be open to the public, but we want that to be an opportunity to grow as a board. Um, question what we've done this past year and, and focus on what we want to accomplish in the upcoming school year. So um, please be available on July 10th, if at all possible. Um, that is all I have. Moving on to agenda item number 11A. Madam Chair, we'll be here. It'll be here.
we just hadn't been in the position to go um, out out and about. We haven't <laughs> we haven't been spending any money on going out and about. So we'll be right here in the boardroom. Um, but we can be casual and be down at, at the at the tables and and roll our sleeves up and get some work done. So we will now entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. There's a motion by Mr. McQuillan, a second by Ms. Condor to adjourn. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. We are adjourned. <laughs>